Do I feel it like people don't like me? On and off. I mean, it was really rough living in New Orleans during the hostage crisis. It was really rough. I had to stop telling people where I came from. Um, I am often upset when I see how others are treated. I know that I live more of a privileged life. I don't have to worry about money too much. Um, that I have a lot of educated people around me. Uh, I taught at a university, so people are very much open to diversity. So, but I know this hard for a lot of other people. Um, and it's, it's little things that sometimes get to me, but, uh, but I kind of smile about it too. I think when I applied to Georgetown, and now I have two graduate degrees already from an American university and one undergraduate degree, a BA in English, uh, MA in Humanities and Women's Studies, and MFA in Creative Writing. So I applied to Georgetown for a master's program, not even a PhD program, and they asked me for my grades from Iran. So, and I couldn't convince them for a while, and then they wanted me to take the TOEFL, like, no, I'm not doing it. So, but I knew how to resist that and to go around it. And I managed to do that. I just didn't, I didn't accept no. So I talked to the office of registrar, I spoke to the director of the program, like, contacted the dean, I got around it, I changed my CV a little bit. But, but I can't imagine you being able to do that if you're a new immigrant. And if you don't really understand the language, how do you do it? It's difficult. And, it would, and one of the things that I realized is that people recognize I'm an immigrant when I open my mouth. I don't have really features of someone who is from somewhere else. So what happens if you have the features, if your color is different, if your eyes are shaped differently? and people are judging you even before you open your mouth. So, but I have faith in America. I think this is a country of immigrants. It'll always be a country of immigrants.